Hi, my name's Ryan. Um, I've got a new YouTube channel called Astro Q. Today I'm going to show you how to make a counterweight balance bar for my AZ GTI with this piece of threaded bar and a hacksaw. The DIY solution is very economical, so stay watching and you might learn something. So what I've got here is a 12mm bar. I purchased it from Screwfix. It was around six or seven pounds. So it's a standard 12mm thread on it, so it screws into the AZ GTI perfectly. I'm going to measure it out to 30 centimeters. There you go on the tape, or one foot, depending on where you are. So I'm going to get to cutting this, and I'll show you it in a sec. Okay, so we've got the mount here, the bar here, that's cut to 30 centimetres, and it's a 12mm thread, standard. So it screws straight into here, really easy, nice and smooth. And screw all the way in until it stops, nice, feels nice and secure. Also on a side note, I'd recommend you deburr this part, or just take off the, um, the sharp edges with a file, if you have one to hand. So next up, we're gonna add some hardware. I had this on an old EQ1 mount that I found in the shed, and it works a treat. It fits perfectly. I'm just gonna slide that on and lock it down. When you add a counterweight like this, you should always have a retaining bolt or, a, or something to stop it from sliding off. So what I did, I went to my hardware store. I brought a butterfly nut for 25 pence and a washer for five pence. I'm going to place that on there, screw this on like that. I chose a butterfly washer because it'd be nice and easy in the cold if you've got gloves on, easy to grip. You just tighten that up and then that's it like that, lovely. So if it does decide it wants to slide off somehow when it's in EQ mode, it's not going anywhere. So next up, what I'm going to do, Is fit the EQ mount onto the onto the tripod and we'll see how it looks. Hopefully it's going to work out fine. So I've taken this part out with the threaded end from the top of the extension tube and what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw this part in nice and snug, make sure it fits. It picks up the, the threaded part like that, looks good. That's going to sit in here. I always like to have this point facing north or to where my bubble is. So I'll line that up with that, screw these up. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is offer up the um, AZ GTI. I've already put the, the shoe on it. I'll land that in there like this. Hold it nicely, which it does. I just do up this screw. I'll tell you what, I, something I did notice that I don't like. I'll come around and have a look at this. If you look at this, this actually interferes with that surface there. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe just get something the same size thread and not use this bolt because it just gets in the way. Look, if you look at this, it sort of bangs into it. So I should imagine that's going to um, impede it when it's working. So that's another little thing. I'll show you that in another video. So as you can see, I've got the bar mounted on the counterweight. And that's all screwed in nice and tight. The scope sat on it, ready to do some business without, without an eyepiece or a finder. Um, but apart from that, it's really easy to do, really cheap. If you take the time, you can save yourself 30 quid and you can have it straight away virtually as long as they've got bar stock near you. So all you need is, you can buy a meter long piece of bar from Screwfix, 12 mil thread standard, screw straight in, get yourself a counterweight or anything you got laying around at Sevy, a couple of nuts and you're away. Save yourself a little bit of money and get yourself one of these. This is Astro Q. Please do like and subscribe to this 
channel, first video. Give us a chance, see what content I put out. You never know, you might like it. Bye for now.